hey hi everyone in this video we are going to continue our series on machine learning regression project this is the fifth video of our series and before this video uh, we have done the all the steps like importing data building ada then analyzing the data and on top of that we have done a feature engineering and some of the manipulation of the data so numerical columns right so in this video we are going to focus mainly on the categorical columns so before i start this one i have done some change to our previous code so some changes like i am not doing this sample work why i am not doing this sampling because our data is very less and it's going to give us a very unexpected result right so still if i learn, uh, if i run this one so we are just copying this data and then we are showing all this uh, this one right you can see we have only 450 data points are there it is it's still very low data but we will try to work on that one right so let's start uh, in last i will try to just uh, attach this sheet to a description so you can use this sheet, sheet uh, notebook for your uh, reference so first i have to separate the categorical column right so i will take a variable called category column and like we have done previously right like for numerical data we have to done same for this one also right so i need to uh, loop through the train df dot columns right and if i mean again we need to check the features data type d type if it is equal to object so it will give us all the columns which contains categorical value right so let's try to see this one so if i take this one train df and if i try to check the head here you can see right we have brand model name dial shape and strips all these data are there right so if we need if you do a little bit research on the data in actual scenario you have to do lots of research on the data but for now if we think about if there is any association of brand with our discount price because ultimately we are going to build a model which is going to predict uh, whether our data um, sorry how much discount we have to provide on a particular watch right so it might i think that it might be any kind of association with brand right because say you have two brands like brand a sell some data i uh, sell some watch in a very higher price range and brand b is a, a brand which will target the audience for the lower category right so most of like say that you have some apple and some other brand so apple mostly sell their uh, watch in a very premium category and you will find that there is very less discount on the that particular category right in, in the higher range but in the lower range like if somebody is selling a watch in around a thousand two thousand or three thousand you probably going to get some kind of di discount it might be a there like marketing strategy also right and this same behavior we have seen uh, previously when we are doing the eda part right where we have seen there is a fluctuation right there is a association like that only so i am thinking that there might be some some kind of association with the brand name model name i don't think uh, there much be there going to be more correlation between the uh, model name and the discount price right dial shape maybe and maybe from that uh, bluetooth and touch screen but we all this thing we are going to check right now so if you search on the youtube you will find so many videos on how you can do a correlation between uh, two numerical data but in actual scenario most of the time you are going to also find out the correlation among the categorical data and the numerical data right so here we are going to do the same things for that we are going to use uh, a one-way way and artist 
right so if you don't know one way uh, ANOVA test in simple word I will tell you if you take a hypothesis like brand name has no correlation with the discount price right then this ANOVA test give you a p-value on based on p-value whether you accept the hypothesis and whether you uh, reject the hypothesis so mostly we reject the hypothesis right so if your p value is going to uh, less than like 0 0.5 we will accept otherwise we will uh, sorry we will uh, reject the hypothesis otherwise we will accept the hypothesis right so for that we have to do the ANOVA test okay so let us start and do the ANOVA test right for that we will use the scipy library so from scipy i have to import a stats module and then i will import app one way right and with the help of this particular module we are going to find out the uh, the p value for an uh, p value based on the anova test right and so simply i just loop through the all the columns and after looping through I will make one group so I will take this group list and then from the train df what I will do I will group by columns so for train df for train df we are grouping the data based on the column and then we will take discount price so, PIS you know and discount price right and apply and convert that into list so what it will give it will basically group the data based on the column and from that column for each group I will taking the discount as a separate list right and then I will pass this into F1 way ANOVA so it will give me a ANOVA results right so ANOVA result is give me so if I call this one into list, I think yes. And then if I, if I try to print that one, what is the result? So I will try to first print the p value. P value for ANOVA is if I take that one, ANOVA result. And then one so it's giving me at least two input okay I think in these two it might be some kind of error so let's take this torch one and see the value so NDF sorry and then value counts yes is this one this one is perfect if i take bluetooth okay so there is only one yes is there right so it it's not going to work at least two groups would be there means two categories would be there so i am removing this one bluetooth from our data i will take this category column dot remove right so i have removed that one and now if i run it is giving me a result so you can clearly uh, see here that this one has a value less than 0 0.05 right and I think this one also has a, a less value of 0 0.05 this one also have I think one two three and four these four columns are there which is giving me p value uh, less than 0 0.05 right so this four value we are going to use and other value we are not going to use because that particular value is not giving us a result that we are expecting right so there is a high code I am from this p value I am assuming that for brand model name here in the dial shape and in the strip material these four columns are there which have a very high correlation among the discount price right so I what I will do I will just filter a dot like important 
IMP columns important column I will take and for that I will first take brand name then second should be the model name third should be I think this one dial shape and fourth should be strip material right so these four columns are there which are giving us a high correlation so if I see this these data you can see these four columns are there uh, which have a very high correlation right so now what what we will do so first we need to fill this na value with some value right so for that what i will do i have just loop through the same same step i will do loop through this emp columns okay and then from this train df i will just pick this column and then fill na is the method we will use and just i will make one more category in this one i name it like other right and if i run this one i think null value will be gone if i see here is na some there is no null value right so after doing this what i need to do so uh, basically i need to convert this into numerical format so right now it's it's in a, a string format like it is in a cat category so these data we are not going to feed directly into any machine learning algorithms so we need to convert that into numerical format so for converting here in this scenario we are going to use a descriptive way so in the descriptive way what we will use we will use the dummy right dummy for each like brand for model name like that we will convert that into dummy variables so let's let's convert that into a, a dummy a dummy one so for that first try to check how it's look like so if i take this one like train df and then if i pass brand name so it's giving me a very sparse matrix so this is a sparse matrix we are giving so in dummy one we always prefer that we will not take uh, one value so like it, if it is giving me a far value we will remove one of the value right so i what i will do i will remove this other one so like that if i type drop so at what i will drop axis is one so you can see other has dropped there are other way also you can use but i am using this 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 way so that i have control that which uh, column i should remove right and then i just name it brand and run it so like that i have to do the same thing for all of them so i will just doing three four i think this one is not there so i will take this name I can loop through also right material right and if I run this one it's giving us error so I think there is one gap in this one it's done right so now we will see so first I will make a data frame with this one right so building a data frame for this one I just just type like train IMP IMP data frame important data frames right and for that I will use concat I think concat I will use and in this one brand is there now model name is there dial shape is there strap strip materials are there right and axis I will choose one Panda has no attribute let concat. It's, it will be concat. Right, and then if I check head, you can see 
it's giving me a very long sparse matrix right so after doing this we have converted what we have done so we have converted this categorical values into a numerical format right uh, with the use of dummy variables so what now we have to do so we have to combine this into a new data frames right so combining i what i will do i will just type new data frame and then pd dot concat i can use i think and i will take train df train df and in this one what i need to pass let's say numerical columns so from this i will taking numerical columns and then important data frame i think this is there right and again based on the axis I'm just combining now let's see how data is looking like right so it's giving me data like that this and all the value are there in a numerical format so again in last I will check if any null value left due to some kind of operation or not So there are some null value in this one current price original price okay we have uh, correct our code so some of the errors are there previously we have done so that's why it's giving uh, so many null value so basically we have to re-index the data so previously when we are doing the numerical work right and we are converting here I think in some place in the data frame so train data frame we have to re shuffle the index if you not re reset the index what will it will do it will increase the data point and like if you have index like 0 1 4 6 like so 2 3 is not there in this one so for 2 3 it will give null value and then we combine the data with this one right so for that i am very i'm just recalculated the index right and after doing this I have just changed change some of the things like in the brand there is no null values are there you can see brand no null values are there so we have one method called drop first so whatever the first columns are there it will dropping and like that I am just I have done and you can see here in the new data frame we have no any uh, null values are there and they all are a numerical value right so in the next video what we will do uh, so we were going to uh, build our first model the base model and then we will try so many other algorithms and check how our model is performing uh, based on some kind, of, some kind of matrix and if time will allow in the same video we will try to do like hyperparameter tuning and the uh, cross validation okay so if you have any question please ask in the comment thank you